Well, folks, we're going to be talking about Nintendo Switch Shooter today, but I want to know that this is kind of a for fun exercise of caution of what can happen when you end up letting hopium just run way, way, way too high. Uh, you can literally find hints in anything anybody does, especially when it comes to Nintendo. So... Oh, man, uh, it's so much fun to be hyped, and I do get caught up in it a little bit, like, oh, I'm so excited for Nintendo Switch 2, uh, but there's a difference between thinking something is fun and then actually feeling it's worth putting together for a video. Uh, none of the things mentioned or shown in this video is, in my humble opinion, actual teasing of the Nintendo Switch 2 in any fashion. However, there are enough of these small things fans think are teases that I thought we could go through them. Why fans think it's some sort of tease or at least acknowledgement of the platform, and then why I personally think it's all much to do about nothing. Again, this is just a for fun video and not meant to be taken that seriously, but you are all free to come to your own conclusions. And before I dive in, I just want to remind everyone that, hey, uh, if you're enjoying this video, uh, I would appreciate Appreciate if you would subscribe to the channel. We're on our road to 140,000 subscribers. Why don't you drop a like on this as well? Let's see if we can get to 500 likes on this one. Uh, that might be kind of cool. Maybe we'll do something extra tonight uh, on our on our uh, live stream if that happens. All right, let's go ahead and dive right in because back on September 19th, Nintendo posted this very very strange super late night tweet from Paper Mario and the Thousand Year Door about Mario going to sleep. The thought was that fans were staying awake for when Nintendo of Japan woke up because Nintendo could do a joint announcement of Switch 2 in Japan and Nintendo of America, just like they did with Switch back in October of 2016. Instead, Nintendo told everyone to go to sleep, as in, we know why you're awake, but it's okay to go to sleep. Nothing is happening. Subtle? Well, we have no idea why they chose to do a small marketing post for Thousand Year Door that night. 11 p.m. listed here is Central Time, and thus, that's 12 a.m. Eastern, pretty damn late. But Nintendo of America is located on the West Coast, and it was only 9 p.m. Pacific there, and... Uh, that's around the time the last people at their office were probably leaving for the day. As such, it was likely just signaling the end of the day for Nintendo of America, and their social team thought it would be a neat way to promote an early release by saying good night. Yeah, kind of uh, kind of crazy if we think about uh, the implications there and how it's really much to do about nothing, but we're not done yet because fast forward to October 5th and Nintendo drops a clip of Mario and Luigi landing and not landing a jump. They call it a 10 out of 10. People have taken this to mean October 10th. Hey, that's just a popular guest day for the system. And given at the time of recording, it's just October 8th. We certainly can't rule out October 10th just yet, but more than likely, it was just a neat way to advertise Mario and Luigi Brothership for the holidays by making a small Olympic-sized reference, because after all, we just had the Olympics earlier this year. Yeah, I kid you not, when I say people are like taking everything as a hint, uh, I, I mean it. Uh, but we have actually something a little interesting. So if we go all the way back to July, and this comes from Nintendo of Europe, it was posted on other socials as well, they announced this Joy-Con stand charger. And many of us assumed there would be a Switch 2 relation. That's because this very late in life uh, accessory that, you know, if it was just for Mario Party alone, should have existed many years ago. We're on our third Mario Party game. And there are rumors surrounding Switch 2 that you can't use the Joy-Cons with Switch 2, or at least you can't slide them on the side, but you can use them via Bluetooth. And so if you trade in your Switch towards a Switch 2, but have extra Joy-Con you want to use with Switch 2, this stand would be a way to keep them charged. Um, okay, fine. That actually can make some sense, especially when you consider Nintendo has NSO controllers uh, that use that rail system. So how would you be able to charge those if you wanted to use them on Switch 2? But that last point's an important one. In the three images they posted, and this is image number one, uh, the final one is of the NES controllers. Now, what's interesting here is if you look at the Switch in the background, look at the top left edge, it's missing a notch. We're talking about right in this area here. Notice there's no 
notch, all right? Uh, it's actually rounded. If you go back and look at the switch in the other advertising piece, you can see the notch. The notch is on both models of the switch that have detachable controllers. It's not present for some reason in this picture with the NES controllers, which has led many to believe this may be an accidental look at Switch 2, given people assume it will look tablet-wise very similar to the Nintendo Switch OLED model. However, it's also entirely possible the photo has been messed with behind the scenes, or that the system it's using is a dummy model for the image. And while there is no obvious signs of image editing, this is direct from Nintendo after all, so you're not gonna see Photoshop signs in it, it's certainly notable there are enough possible explanations this looks this way that there is no way to definitively conclude it has anything to do with Switch 2. All right, all right, all right. So we have explanations for pretty much all of Nintendo's posts, at least some alternative explanation that has nothing to do with it. But you know what we can't really explain away? How about this post by Walmart Canada that's directly saying, you know, something's happening, right? Uh, so we have Walmart Canada going, so when do you think we'll see the next Nintendo Direct? Now, why would anyone think that Walmart Canada actually knows anything? Well, because they have tweeted stuff like this back in June, back in February, September 2023, June 2023, etc. Basically, the same thing. So they were right about all those other months, asking when a direct is happening, only for it to happen the same month. So they obviously must know, right? Sure. Also, Nintendo traditionally does directs every February, June, and September. Oh, whoa, what are you talking about? No, seriously, I could have made these tweets. Does that mean I know? But let's say they did know. They are tweeting in October, not September. Pretty sure their social team is well-versed on the Nintendo fan hype. They know people think that the Switch is being revealed in October, in particular, October 10th. Nintendo has no reason to tell a retailer when a Direct is actually happening, especially this one. If there is a Direct this year, we can argue that maybe for pre-order purposes, but even then, we know Nintendo's entire lineup the rest of 2024, so this is going to be a 2025-focused thing. Now, if we want to get real serious here, we want to have some real fun. We really should be talking about a completely different uh, type of tease here. This is the kind of stuff that made people go nuts today. This is an obvious fake, but man, people's hearts skip to beat. Ba boom. Tune in tomorrow at 7 a.m. Pacific for a Nintendo Direct live stream featuring roughly 20 minutes of information focused on the successor to the Nintendo Switch releasing in 2025. This book's pretty good. Um, except that it's posted by Nintendo of America at Mario Countdown. This is obviously fake. See, if you're going to troll people, at least troll them well. This was a well-placed troll. Obviously, some people upset about it because it made their hearts skip a beat, thinking Nintendo had just said anything when they didn't. But still, uh, I'm just kind of pointing out that Look, we can find meaning in anything if we're looking for it. Uh, it's kind of like the old joke about, you know, Half-Life 3 confirmed when you just do all this crazy math and you add these things together and you do this and that and you always can come up with the number three. If you're looking for something, you're going to find it. If you're not looking for something, you're not going to find it. If you're a general consumer, you're going to look at all these things Nintendo's tweeting now and think, this is just par for the course. After all, if Nintendo is teasing Switch 2 with these tweets, why is it just like those two specific tweets and not all of the rest? of the tweets they put out. Why is it just those two? Uh, they've had other Mario and Luigi tweets. They've had other Thousand Door tweets. So why are we just talking about those two? Well, because those are the two that if you're looking for it, you can use your hopium and copium to make guesses and estimates and think they're actually teasing something. In this front, we do have a tease from Nintendo. We already know. Uh, let me explain. For Akaba told this is being revealed this fiscal year, or at least there's going to be an announcement related to the Switch successor this fiscal year. That was the tease. Nintendo hasn't teased the Switch 2 otherwise, at least not in what I feel is an intentional way. Like If that image related to the NES controllers is like a tease, it was probably not intentional. They, they, there would have been a, just a massive mistake, and it was already public, so Nintendo just didn't resend the image. Or uh, it's not, and it's just a dummy model, and it doesn't mean anything. That's just what I think it is. So in the end, Nintendo's going to reveal Switch 2 when they want to reveal it, right? We've had all our speculation fun with September, and yes, I was wrong. I put a bet on September. Now I'm doing the Hot Chip Challenge tomorrow, live on our podcast, 8 p.m. Central, first topic of the show, very early in, like 10, 15, 20 minutes into the show, the Hot Chip Challenge will occur and i'll have to do the entire rest of the podcast uh while dealing with that so that's going to be fun 
And you know, look, I have no bets on October or bets the rest of this year. Uh, in the end, I told myself, you know, that I would only do uh, this hot chip challenge one time ever. And uh, I've bet it three times. I won my prior two. My third bet was a loss. So we're doing the hot chip. It is what it is. Uh, what really matters in the end, though, is that Nintendo's just going to reveal things when they want to reveal it. Uh, it could be this month. It could be this week. I hope it's this week. I want it to be this week. I wanted it to be last week. I wanted it to be a month ago. Hell, I wanted them to reveal this back in March. I wanted them to reveal this two years ago. I've been ready for Switch 2 for a long time. But Nintendo's going to reveal it when they feel like it. If they don't reveal it till March of next year, they don't reveal it till March of next year. I think we need to stop overanalyzing every minute thing Nintendo does and assume they're teasing something. And I know some of you guys will say, well, Nintendo did tease one time. Remember the Chibi Robo thing? Well, apparently, I can't find the episode, but in one of the Kit and Krista episodes, they said they thought the person who did that actually got in some trouble. So I, I can't verify that story, of course, and even if I found the exact episode that Kit and Krista said it in, I still can't verify because I don't have any firsthand knowledge. It's just taking their word for it. But in the end, Nintendo socials tend to not tease things in this way in general. I would say that, you know, Switch 2 is going to drop and it's going to be running when it's ready. They're either going to let us know the day before they're going to do it or they're just going to shadow drop it. And that's that. So uh, we're just going to sit back and see what happens. I would love for it to be this month. I hope it's this week. If it's not this week, I'm kind of tuned out for like another two weeks. And if it's not two weeks from now, then I'm kind of tuned out for the rest of 2024. And I'm uh, finally, finally going to join Team 2025, which, again, Nintendo told us to expect an announcement, you know, within this fiscal year. So take that for what you will. I am Nathaniel Robojance from Nintendo Prime. Hopefully you enjoyed this video uh, a little bit different. You know, normally I'm I'm building up the hype and I'm getting excited, but this time I'm kind of like, ah, all right. These are like things I didn't make videos on before because I'm like, it's just, it, look, I have, the, I have as much hopium and copium as anyone else, but I, I got to be honest. Like these things aren't teases, all right? I'll catch you guys in the next video.